What's the the good, the bad, and the ugly of your relationship with Connor? There's literally no ugly. Connor McGregor has been an incredible partner to work with. Everybody thinks that Connor, if Connor showed up to things on time, yeah. there wouldn't be one fucking bad thing I could say about yeah. Connor. So you know so what I mean? Only being late to if, shit. If you fucking said, you put a gun to my fucking head, right? And said, don't lie, motherfucker. Tell me all the bad things about Connor McGregor. I'd say the guy doesn't show up on time. That's it. That's it. If Conor McGregor showed up to shit on time, and sometimes he does, sometimes he does, he'd be, he'd be, he's been a great partner. If you look at what a huge superstar he became, the fights that he was involved in, let me tell you what Conor McGregor never did. We never walked in a room and said, Conor, this guy just fell out. Um, we want you to fight this guy. And he was like, no way. I'm not taking this fucking risk. I'm at this point in my career where my money, my this, my that. He was like, fuck it. Let's do it. You know, he'd always say, let's do it. The other thing that Conor McGregor never did, no matter how big he was or whatever it was, and we were heading into a fight, oh, Conor, this guy just fell out. Aldo fell out. We were looking for another. Yeah, I'll do it, but I'm going to need another fucking 200000 I'm going to need another million dollars. I'm going to, Conor McGregor never did that kind of chicken shit, you know, bullshit kind of stuff. He, he never did any of that. Connor was as solid a guy as you could possibly work with. Just fuck it, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Literally would, there's actually a scene, because we were filming something, I don't know if it was embedded or what we were filming at the time, me and Lorenzo walk into his house that he rented here in Vegas, and I'm pretty sure it was when Aldo fell out, and we're telling him this, that, and we're looking at some options. He says, I'm going to the gym. When I'm done working out, let me know. You know, he just woke up out of bed. He's in his fucking underwear, and he gets hit with this. <laughs> And he's like, all right, I'm going to the gym. Let me know when I get out who I'm fighting. Doesn't care. Doesn't want to know. Doesn't want any more money. Nothing. Fucking shows up and he delivers. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> Connor has been incredibly successful. He's made a lot of money. And, you know, he's had his ups and downs outside and inside the octagon. But as for a guy who was, you know, on the dole and was a plumber, He's actually a really smart businessman, and he's been one of the best partners that I've ever had in the history of the sport. Yeah, and an important part of the history of the UFC. Big. He opened it up to all kinds of new eyes. Yep. He literally, um, you know, set Europe, Australia, Canada, and many other parts of the world on fire, man. He, 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 he was uh, our, our first legit megastar. And I personally think he doesn't get enough credit for just how good he was as a fighter and people love to talk shit about connor so i true. suppose that's part of his magic and and, and but it, but it, but it comes with success yeah when you're successful there's always people out there that are going to talk shit you know you always have a bunch of know nothing do nothing fucking losers that, that <laughs> yeah. love to talk shit you think if you were to do it all over again habib is the right matchup yeah i thought listen you, you the, the thing that you can't do is avoid matchups yeah. You know what I mean? This is what we're talking about. When you talk about being a legend, Conor McGregor needed Habib. Habib needed Conor McGregor. It's, it, you can hate each other as much as you want, but you have to fight these other legendary bad motherfuckers to, to yourself become a legend. I mean, it's like John Jones needed Cyril Gunn, mm -hmm. right? And Cyril Gunn needed John Jones because if Cyril could have beat John... The first guy, if anybody can ever figure it out and beat John Jones, it's a big deal. And it's almost like your obligation as a fighter, right? And when you think about John Jones became who he is today. And the reason I'm sitting here telling you how great he is, because all these other guys gave him the opportunity mm -hmm. to beat them, right? Or they beat John. You, it's all about giving these other guys the opportunity. St. Denis, right? Mm -hmm. Poirier gave him the opportunity to come in and beat him. That's how this all works. It's the two of them together, the two fighters together. You have to have them both. Listen, I could line up, I could line up a bunch of no-name bums that John Jones could run through. That's what they do in all the other organizations. Yeah. Right? We would have nothing to fucking talk about right now. That's why, luckily, a perfect record in the UFC is not as important as who you fought, how you so fought. True. But when you have a perfect record yeah. in the UFC, holy <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. I mean, that's what you would, when, yeah. when you can have a perfect record in the UFC, you are absolutely 
one of the most special athletes on planet Earth. 